Kevin here with my new invention, uh, which allows you to send three different signals over a wire. Usually a wire would have an on or off signal, but in this case I've added a pulsed signal. And so if it's pulsed, it'll light up this torch. If it's on, it'll light on up this torch. And if it's off, it'll light up this torch. So this device will interpret what signal's coming in. And this teal device sends the signal out. So if both of these levers are right, that's powered. If they're both inward, that makes it on powered, off signal, so that torch is lit. And both left activates this pulse signal, which can be 5 clock or 6 clock. And that activates the torch to the left. And so the way this works is uh, when this signal comes in, it inverts into this torch. And the torch is there so that uh, there's no uh, feedback of the signal back into this wire. Um, but it's sent into this torch, and the repeater here is powered by the torch, and it delays the pulse just perfectly. And so it overlaps itself, um, but in reverse. So the parts where it's unpowered overlap with the parts where it's powered in the delay, which means that when they both meet, these both pulses, it becomes one constant signal, which is right here. And it flickers just a little bit. But when that flicker um, comes up here, it powers this block and powers this inverted torch, it's constant enough to keep it powered off all the time. The top layer works the exact same way. Uh, both of these repeaters are set at four ticks for the proper delay. And uh, the difference with the top layer is this torch powers this block, which means this torch is inverted from that signal. And so the pulse itself is inverted, but because the pulse is on off, on off, all the inversion does is delay um, when the on off happens. And since this doesn't matter, it's constant either way, if it's inverted or not, both layers would be on if it's pulsed. But if not, then only one layer will be pulsed, and, or one layer will be on, and one layer won't be. And that allows us to choose the other torches. And uh, with both of these torches touching this, uh, this red redstone wire, we have an AND gate, and the AND gate feeds into a torch, which activates a pulse signal. Now, when you have a, a different signal, let's say constant off, then you're going to have one of the layers be off. And what's that going, what that's going to do is that's going to power this, and so the pulse signal torch turns off, and the repeater here feeds that empty signal out, and so a torch turns on. Let's do it one more time to show powered. So the wire's powered, and now the top layer is powered, which causes this to be fed so it has no, the torch is off. This to be fed so the torch is off. But the bottom layer is empty, and so this torch turns on. And uh, this is about as compact as I could make it. If anyone has ideas for making it more compact, I love that. This here, as far as how to turn this on or off, basically when this is turned on, it sends a constant on signal which forces it so that the clock can't work. It's constantly on and the torch on the other side is then off. And that allows this to switch on or off and be the actual signal. But when you turn it off, then the clock can work. This isn't the end of things. I uh, designed this to come up with a solution to um, the problem of how to send multiple signals over one wire. But this is the simple solution. Over here is a structure I'm building that will do uh, much more, um, but I'm not done with it. When I put up a video, you will see a way to send more than 10 signals over one wire, which works kind of like fiber optics. It's the Minecraft signal sender up and receiver of the future. Uh, but until then, I uh, look forward to sharing my inventions. And if you have any ideas uh, for problems or new inventions I should try to come up with, uh, please send them to me and I'll see what I can come up with in response.